Hey everybody, Alex here, your host on the channel Luxurious MC. We are currently going to walk into my kitchen. Why? Because I am insanely hungry. Let's see what we got. Hmm, not very much to go on that isn't a type of spread or condiment but we do have some roast beef and chicken but let's go with the roast beef that's actually ground beef but I said roast beef so we're gonna we're just gonna stick with it time to make some ground beef there we go 100% ground sirloin awesome this will be delicious now hold on a moment while I go well Cut this open and get this ready. Now that we got this open, or already took, kind of got a little piece of the meat. We're gonna put it on here, on my measuring scale to measure it. Why? Because I'm kind of, I'm a slowly fitting this nut. It's about 82 grams. Granted, it's a little bit frozen, so let's take half for some water. And most likely, it's probably more around like 70 grams, how frozen it is. So we're gonna take this piece, good to go. I'll set it right back over here. I'm gonna grab another piece. Let's see if I can do this on camera. Got this thing in my hand. Not the easiest. Eh, it's a good chunk. Put it right there. 28. Yeah, this should be enough. We use these two pieces together. We're gonna cook up on this. It's gonna be great. Let's do it. Got that fire does going. Actually, I'm gonna keep it on high for a little bit. Why? Because I want this to heat up fast and no other reason besides that so uh, while we wait I am going to grab some seasonings out of here this isn't exactly a cooking channel so I don't think health is that I don't think health is top priority when it comes to sanitization at the moment because I'll just wipe down all the surfaces Got that garlic salt that we're going to use on this once I get it in that. That's exactly how it's going to go. It'll be great. Can't wait. Come back. Huh. Let's see here. So while I go get this heated up, I will get the plates. One second. Alrighty. Here is our plate. This feels nice and hot now, so we're going to take our two pieces right here and we're just going to plop it down. We're like, why? No, oh, it's going to stick. No, not really. It's got a lot of fat in it, so this isn't the most leanest ground beef ever. <laughs> I said roast beef when I first got it out. This isn't the most leanest ground beef ever, so there should be more than enough fats in it to eh, keep it from sticking. That sounds amazing. So, I'm gonna wait till it defaws for a little bit. This is really just a little bit pan. This is actually a pretty good size of ground beef. Awesome, awesome. Now, I'm gonna let this sit here and cook for a little bit. I'll come back to it when it's time to marinate it with the garlic salt. Be right back, y'all. Okay, so here is our ground beef. I actually did go back and add some more of it and put away what was left and wash my hands. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take this garlic salt right here. And I'm just going to open the top like that. Try not to do that. There we go. All we're quite really going to do is coat it in this. A lot of people are like, damn, that's a lot of garlic salt. Yeah, you're probably right. But I do like the taste of it, so I do not mind. Okay, move it around a little bit. That sounds extraordinary and smells great. I love it. Now, for those of you who do watch this video, I do apologize. This is my first YouTube video ever. So for those lucky, probably one to three people who actually do get to see this, or if that, you have the privilege of seeing my first video ever. So, it's a cooking video. Luxurious MC cooking video. Hell yeah.
this YouTube channel is really just made to basically be just a vlog of mine. Why? Because I have nothing to do. I have six months before my college schooling starts, and I am bored beyond belief. So, I decided to make a YouTube channel that was more so just me vlogging stuff than, well, anything else, to be honest. <coughs> Yep, now we're just going to let it sit there for a bit and cook, and I will show you the finished product when it's done. Peace. As you can see here, I plated the ground beef and took it back to my room. Why? Because there's a lot of action going on in the kitchen right now with some other people, and I didn't want the video to get... Well, I didn't want you to not hear me, so I took it back to my room. Yes, it's a little brown, because it's supposed to be like that, and I may have overco overcooked it just slightly, but... Put some sriracha sauce on it. Mmm, sriracha sauce. I love this stuff. It's going to be great. And I think that's just about enough. I'm going to get a new bottle here soon. Yeah, set that down the ground. And now, with the magical tortilla. Ah, damn it. Made a slight mess, but hey, you know, okay. But yeah, this is my tortilla that I quite literally just put on the pan. And well, it's got nice and crispy. So, let's clean up this a little bit. Whoopsie do. And now I'm going to enjoy myself a great meal with tortilla and ground beef. Oh, wait. I forgot the fork. One sec. I got the fork. The fork of awesomeness. <laughs> so thank you for coming in and watching this video for those of you who do granted I'm expecting like what one one or three it's my first video ever so it's not gonna turn out that well but it was a whole lot of fun making it and you got to see how I made me some ground beef and tortilla and yes I did say roast beef in the beginning whoops so thank you very much for watching this video and well catch y'all in the next one peace Nah, I don't have, I don't have a catchy catchphrase yet. See y'all next video though.